Hello, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. Coming up from the 29th of May 2018 is the awesome audio gear giveaway honoring 25 years of Adobe Audition. Your chance to win thousands of dollars worth of audio equipment. If you'd like a chance to win, register your interest now over at mrc.fm slash giveaway. That is mrc.fm slash giveaway. Between now and leading up to the start of the contest, I'll be replaying some of the best content from my Mike Russell VIP channel, a channel that was retired when YouTube stopped paid channels. So loads of content for you to enjoy. Enjoy this video now from Mike Russell VIP. Let's hop into Adobe Audition and have a listen to um, this is the bit I was working on. This week in cinemas, the brand new movie starring you. And I just added a little fade in and fade out on my voice there so it sounds cleaner. Um, but this is the track I added a whole ton of bass to. It's a nice pinky purple color now. Um, so this is absolutely fantastic. I love this in Adobe Audition. The frequency analysis window, uh, which is here. We can make it uh, nice and big if we want to so we can really see what's going on. And you'll see as I play the track, you get the, the frequencies drawn out in a nice real time graph. Now what I can do to be even more clever if I want to really analyze the frequencies is I can, oh, I'm dragging it all around for you. Sorry, I'll try and try and detach that again because it's much better when it's undocked and I can do things to it. So let's do that. So as you can see, you can have it freeform flowing around or you can dock it in somewhere uh, and save it as a view, a workspace as it's known in Adobe Audition. Uh, so when the bass kicks in, I can hit one of these buttons and it will hold exactly how the uh, audio sounded at that point in time. So let's try and do that. There you go. And you see when the bass kicked in, I hit number one, which is red. And there is that bass. Whoa, right down there at the bottom, uh, sounding very high. As you can see, it's all about bass. I've rolled off most of the mid and most of the treble. Now, if I wanted to use this tool to analyze the voiceover I made earlier, let's go and find that over here. This week in cinemas the brand new movie. And as you can see, that's got much more of a flat range. Let's actually save it when I'm speaking. This week, there we go, that's a little range of me speaking. And as you can see, quite a fair amount of bass in my voice there, mid range, of course, as you'd expect, rolling off at the treble. If I was to add the effect to it that I was demonstrating in my other video, uh, go to filter and EQ, FF, no, sorry, scientific filter. Uh, and that's where you can roll off or drop off below 250 hertz, which I highly recommend when you're trying to get voiceover to cut across music beds. Really good ninja trick uh, to enable your voice to do that. Just basically roll off bass, click apply, and immediately you'll see how that has happened. Below 250 hertz now on the frequency analysis window, uh, we've got a nice dip. This week in cinemas. And if I was to go even more nuts with that scientific filter and maybe take that up to, well, you can take it up or down if you want. So the cutoff can be around uh, 700 hertz. Or if you want to make it really visible, I could make it up to, uh, say, let's make it up to, why not make it up to around 2000 hertz and apply. And now you'll see, whoa, a huge dip there. This week. <laughs> There's absolutely no bass in my voice. It sounds terrible. But you get the idea of how you can easily analyze any piece of audio in Adobe Audition in a very visual way. I hope this video has been of use to you. There you go, a video from my retired Mike Russell VIP channel. Hope you enjoyed it and got some value from it. And if you'd like to get involved with the awesome audio gear giveaway honoring 25 years of Adobe Audition, get your interest registered now over at mrc.fm slash giveaway.